Hi everyone, welcome back to the WebDriver tutorial series and this is day 43. In the previous tutorial, we learned how to write data into Excel file using Apache PY. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use a Jenkins. Jenkins is very common, popular name into automation testing, not just into automation testing, but uh, overall into software development lifecycle. So before we start with the Jenkins, let's understand what is actually Jenkins. So Jenkins was having old name as Hudson. Okay, Hudson was just older name of Jenkins. And what is Jenkins? So basically Jenkins is a continuous integration. It's a continuous integration tool. What does it mean? Continuous integration means it, it includes some processes. So continuous development, continuous development, continuous building, integrating and building, then continuous testing, okay, like performing uh, unit test, assume that like unit test, integration test, uh, system test, also there can be like before system test, there can be smoke test, and many more, you know, if you have performance test, you can have that as well. Then deployment, okay, so these are the few things that ca that is that are carried out by the Jenkins. So Jenkins helps you to automate your uh, development lifecycle, in short, you can see that, you know. So uh, that is why Jenkins is known as continuous integration tool. It is not only an integration tool, it is also known as continuous testing tool, continuous building tool, or uh, tool automation, uh, you know, build automation tool. These are different names, you know. So uh, it depends on, you know, how you take that. So basically, Jenkins helps you to automate few development activity. or you can say process, okay. Um, now why Jenkins, uh, I mean who all will be using Jenkins? Who uses Jenkins? So the answer is everybody, you know, developers as well as testers, as well as implementers, deployers, you know, uh, the people who are doing the deployment also, they are using Jenkins. So. Jenkins is used by testers, developers, and the DevOps guys, okay? DevOps is a team which actually automates the development process. So automating a development uh, and the operations process is what DevOps is, okay? So this guy uses Jenkins. Other automation testing, okay? What is the role of Jenkins? So in automation testing, we learn Jenkins, so because it helps to uh, run test cases, okay, it automatically triggers test cases. That trigger might be based on schedule. It might be based on some remote API invocation, or it could be like uh, get push, might be a trigger, you know, so there are some web hooks that may trigger your test cases, okay? There are, uh, so running a test case, triggering a test case, then start test execution, okay? Then generate a report. Actually, report is generated by the uh, testing framework like TestNG or some other tool, but save report, you know, then publish it, and then archive. Archive it for the future reference. So these are the few things. Also it stores the historic, uh, 
historic test trend that how the test went you know like initially uh, four was passing then it reduced to three and then again the passing rate increased to f uh, five or something you know so that shows you a trend that how that test case execution is happening on some based on some period so it also uh, shows you data in historic um, test trend so these are the few uh, you know uh, advantages why we use jenkins in automation testing ideally you know the ideally jenkins has to be used for development plus testing okay that is the ideal case so jenkins is not something that is only used by the testers developer are also using jenkins and what is the purpose why do they use the jenkins the reason is so um, let's say there are a team of 100 people working into uh, you know modifying a source code let's assume that 100 uh, let's a team collaboration so there are so many people from the developers are working on that project to develop something right and there are chances that maybe one of the developer doing some mistake and uh, because of his uh, code with some you know bugs or something that is going to affect the overall software so jenkins is a tool you know as soon as one developer commits his changes push his changes to the central repository main repository immediately jenkins triggers those test cases okay like kind of it could be unit test case or something like that or uh, jenkins first will uh, grab the source code compile the source code you know if there is a compilation error jenkins will immediately st stop at that point jenkins also has a feature where it can send uh, emails okay Notif email notifications so let's say you know some some uh, compilation error is there or that that build uh, you cannot build the software when i say build it means um, you know compiling and uh, creating some package so that it can be deployed so if there is some problem in the build process jenkins can communicate and uh, that will help you to you know uh, immediately say that okay there is something wrong in the source code uh, there is some problem and we need to fix that immediately so that is what continuous integration is so continuously pulling the source code from the different commits merging together and uh, you know building it together and just checking the uh, you know running unit test cases first compiling run it unit test cases running integration test cases then creating a package and uh, then deploying you know so jenkins helps you to do all these activities in automated way so that is the importance of a jenkins and we were talking about like jenkins is also used by developers and testers so jenkins is not only for testers okay always remember that so Gen for a developer jenkins helps team to collaborate together you know so uh, it also identifies major build issues you know build issues it means uh, building that software you know uh, pulling the source code from multiple branches and then um, from the multiple you know many commits and then combining together and that way so identifies major build issues uh, immediate feedback kind of mechanism is there you know so as soon as someone pushes his code automatically jenkins receive a trigger to start uh, building the code and you know run unit test cases so if something is wrong in that code all the developer or the you know a product owner immediately get a notification that uh, something went wrong and uh, it is easy to find out that whose commit is vulnerable and having problems so it also helps in identifying uh you know the commit identifying show stopper commits so uh these are like few uh reason why developers are also also using jenkins uh you can add few more like running unit test cases and some other test cases as well or checking the integration test so um you know these are just the basic uses why developers are using a jenkins 
these are like specifically for testers and Jenkins also helps apart from about these activities Jenkins also helps you to deploy deploy product or application in environment so that also includes creating test creating environment and there are many actually reasons why we use the Jenkins okay all right I hope you got an idea that what exactly a Jenkins is and how you can uh, what are the features or what are the reason why we use Jenkins so like one example is there you know say hello to the blue ocean so first Jenkins will do build then you know do testing on different different browser then perform the source code you know with the help of some static code analysis tool like Jenkins by the de developers are also using Jenkins for static code analysis now what is the meaning of static code analysis it means uh, checking the code against standards and this is most of the time it is automated now for example um, sonar is a tool you know or uh, PMD check PMD check there are some tools which are used by the developers just to check the code quality or to identify uh, you know uh, the different uh, loopholes or vulnerabilities like uh, Forty is another tool that is related with the security which checks the source code is secure or not in that way so static code analysis is also carried out with the help of Jenkins and you, at the last phase you can see deployment is there okay now how to deploy it depends on you that uh, how to deploy you know sometimes deployment it's very easy you just copy paste something at some destination location that is what deployment is but most of the cases deployment is not that easy you need to create configure the environment you need to do some copy pasting you need to uh, start server and lots of activities are involved while when you know someone sees deploy so uh, there are some features of a Jenkins continuous integration and delivery so integrating the software uh, source code together building it and continuously delivering and this happens in iterations okay easy installation yeah it's I do agree it's very easy easy to configure uh, that you will come to know once we use Jenkins there are different plugins so plugins is the main power of a Jenkins okay there are thousands of plugins available for a Jenkins let's say um, you know let's say somebody is introducing their cloud they generally develop a plugin for a Jenkins so Jenkins is very popular and widely known that almost everybody uh, you know uh, every tool every cloud they do give a support to the Jenkins with the help of plugin then Jenkins is extensible you know let's say you want to do some changes in a Jenkins that is also possible or what you can do is you can develop your own plugin to do something you know so developing your own plugin is um, is an advantage that comes with a Jenkins because Jenkins is open source and Jenkins is distributed system you know when I say Jenkins Jenkins is, is not just uh, a single machine you know you can have test case distributed also so like automation testers take advantage of the Jenkins for doing distributed test execution I know that we already learned Selenium grid for distributed test execution but without a grid also you can do distributed test execution and that there you can take help of Jenkins Jenkins has master and slave you know master one master most of the time and many slave so this master and slave architecture allows to uh, you know distribute the work on a Jenkins okay so these are about some features on a Jenkins now in next tutorial we will see how to configure a Jenkins